Hey what's up boys it's Clarity and today I'm going to be showing you guys another way to make money in Alter's Life as it's been a while since I've done um, my last money making tutorial. So let's get to it. So today we are going to be robbing some petrol stations to try and make ourselves a little bit of money. This was one of the requests in a comment down below on one of my other videos so I thought I'd get to it and start making them. Now most people think if you're going to rob a petrol station you obviously need a gun and you're more than likely going to get into a nasty little gunfight or anything like that but this isn't true and i'll show you that today the best way to rob a petrol station would actually be to role play with it after all it is a role play community and um, you can have a lot of fun earning money this way as well all you actually need to start robbing a petrol station is a pair of binoculars or rangefinders so it's nice and easy to start it and if you're planning on role playing with it you won't need any guns so in today's video i actually robbed two petrol stations and I recorded the sort of RP that I came up with. Obviously come up with your own ideas, be inventive and all stuff like that but at least this video will give you a little bit of an idea of the sort of things you can come up with to successfully rob a petrol station. Hope you enjoy. Okay so once you're at the petrol station of your choice, doesn't really matter, park your truck inside or outside, head up to the little computer, get your binoculars out, scroll wheel and click rob station. Now all we need to do is wait for the police to respond and then we'll begin our RP. Sound resume. Sound muted. Oh, hello there. Oh, uh, hello. Can they come in? Oh, of course you can. Yeah, I'm just uh, busy doing a couple of repairs on this um, alarm system here attached to this uh, this cash, this cashier, um, cash thing. This yeah. Oh, I see. Just doing a... Oh, that know, might a be why the alarm's going off. Oh, yeah, you know, sometimes um, when you press the wrong button, the, the alarm can go off, but this has a special safety feature on it where uh, when you... Um, disconnect the the power the alarm automatically goes off so that's probably what you're hearing there yeah 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 it's all no when we were at the police station all we hear is just like echo the fuel's being robbed you know oh yeah yeah no that'll just be the special safety feature that's built into this um this uh cash register here I see what uh, what's wrong with this and you need to repair it i'm just doing a couple of maintenance things apparently there's been a, a robbery here and the alarm didn't actually go off, so they uh, they called me in here. So I've arrived in my black truck and uh, got all my tools in the back there. I'm just doing a couple of repairs here for uh, Jason. He's the owner of this petrol station. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, have a little look underneath here. Uh, uh, right. Oh yeah. You can see there's a wire out of place. Would you do me a favour? See this wire down here. You can see like a little yeah, silver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could you just hold that there for me a second? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go, go. Sound resumed. Sound muted. There we go. That should, that should do it. Okay. Now let's plug this in and see if it works. <laughs> yeah. Seems to be operating fine. Right, what? So Why is that not? See, when I press that button, that should be setting off the alarm, but it's not. Hmm. Do you have any experience with uh, electronical things like this at all, or? Uh, no, not really. I'm not really the most electronic man. Ah, yeah. See, I, I can't really work it out. Right, so the wire is going down here. Could be someone connected in the garage. So the wire should lead underneath here. Hmm. Ah, okay. I think I can see the problem. If you, if you look up here, there should be a little crack on, on the roof. <clears throat> And I think that's interfering with the uh, interfering with the the signal, maybe. Oh jeez, yeah, it might be, might be. 
you got some tools to repair it. I sh uh, I'll just check in the back. Oh yeah, that should do it. That should do it. Okay, I'm just trying try and reach this. Yeah. Oh god, I can't really reach. You know, I'm I'm gonna have to wear. Uh, maybe if I just throw it up, it it, it might work. Yeah, you can try, you can try. Okay. Uh... Huh. 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 Yeah, that, that seems to have done it. Okay, now let no, me just... just call dispatch and see if the alarm still goes off at the police station. One second. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll see if this works. Can you get a photo dispatch at Kowal HQ? Can we get a check up on the FOD fuel alarm? Is it still sitting off or is it fixed itself? Seems to be an electronic problem in the store. Mm -hmm. Alright, Betsy, thank you. I hope it seems to have cleared it. I think you've Oh, it. excellent. Nice, I'll just receive my payment and then uh, I'll be on my way. That's a good throw. Yeah, th thank you very much. It's, it's good that you work for the stores. Yeah, you place. know, I like to keep on top of them. I've had a few complaints around the uh, the area saying that. A lot of the alarms aren't working, yeah, yeah, so I've got a few calls to make. Yeah. Alright, well, thank you for that, mate. Thank you for uh, passing by. I'm sorry for the inconvenience caused. I should have let you guys know beforehand, but, um, you know, I didn't think yeah, it was, was like going to set it off. That'd be great. Yeah, I will do. No worries. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, sir. So, see ya. Have a good day, sir. Okay, so there was a first example. As you can see, it's pretty hard to come up with stuff on the spot. So if you can, try to have like a little plan beforehand and then uh, put it into action. Anyway, here's the second one. Now on this one, I tried something a bit different and I tried texting them beforehand to say that I'm gonna be carrying out some repairs and stuff like that on the um, aglatory fuel. I don't know if I'm saying that right or if I've even spelt it right, but it doesn't matter really. So anyway, I've texted them that and see if it makes a difference in um, the RP that we get. Also, when you rob a fuel station, the money that you get from robbing it is a bit inconsistent. Sometimes you can get 17k. There's been some times where I've got 20k before, but that was uh, quite a while ago. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure on the exact price you get from robbing a fuel station. I think it does vary. But uh, let's have a little look at this this one now. <laughs> oh, hello there, sir. I'm just there uh, doing a few repairs on this. Did you not get my uh, dispatch? Uh, hey, buddy, we uh, we got your dispatch. Yeah, no, I'm just there. Uh, yeah, I'm just there uh, repairing a few few leaky pipes here. Yeah, I had to unplug this machine, and um, I think it set off the emergency alarm to you guys you know it's a yeah. built-in quite clever technology really yeah mm. you just understand that we yeah we have to be a bit uh, weary oh of course yeah so yeah glad. yeah no that's fine yeah i'm glad you guys dropped over um as you can see i'm just doing a couple of repairs here oh i'm a i'm a shady guy right, and sorry buddy taxi uh, not really taxi. yes oh, thank you. Man, taxi, taxi. Uh, Goodman uh, Taxi Service Operating 20. Yes, I am. Of course, I am. Tell Mr. Officer I'm, um, I'm involved. I am um, involved. I'm the taxi driver here. I, I'm involved uh, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. If, any, if this, anyone needs a taxi, this guy was just delivering the uh, pipe fixing. Yeah, he was just delivering yes, the uh, copper pipes to me, weren't you, sir? Yes, of course. Yeah, we're, we're making these ones out of copper. They're a lot stronger. The last ones before were uh, PVC, I think for some weird reason, so oh, I, th yeah. I think they cracked, you know, under the weather, so it just brought me some copper ones. Alright, um, yeah, I understand. Um, what's it called, uh, whereabouts is your vehicle, sir? Can I just check the... Uh, Miss, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Taxi, uh, Chris, Chris Durling, I can't pronounce his second name, was it? Durling, Durling, let's just call him yeah, Darling, yeah, Chris, Chris Darling. Yeah. Uh, he uh, gave me a lift, because I, 
I can give off to walk to the carriage. So, so you're not, so you're not delivering uh, pipes. I am. They're, they're in my backpack. I'll just drop. I'll just. Uh, in your backpack. The There's copper pipes in your backpack. Oh yeah, yes. we we, we only need some um, small L L piece L pieces really, you know. Just some little joints. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that's the joint that's I gone, you see. There's there's the backpack. Um, oh, thank you. I'll just uh, go inside there now. Alright. Right. There we go. Okie dokie. Pipes. <laughs> All right. I mean. Uh... Yeah, you guys get to work. Your pipes. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, oh, thank you. There, all right. You too. Um, oh, I'll be plugging this machine back in very shortly, so uh, yeah, it should all be up and running so again. Can, uh, set off the alarm, alarm anymore. All right. Have a good day. Thanks. Oh, thank you, buddy. Have a good day. Hey, Tyrone. Tyrone. Follow me. Follow me. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Haha, <laughs> mate, what, what are you guys doing here? Handsome. Oh, you better be working, fucking bitch. Where's my taxi ride? You better be working for oh, and taxi now. Oh, yeah, I'm working. Taxi, didn't you? Yeah, he was just delivering my copper oh, pipes, weren't you? Where's the money? No, where's my page Um. Well, well, you don't get any. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you wearing that uniform? Oh, shit. Why? What is he What's oh, oh god. This is, this is getting all a bit manic. Unit. Unit. Fucking road traffic. You know, this was just supposed to be a nice quiet repair, and then about fucking 12 people show up. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm... I'm you you can ask Ross. Ask Ross and then he'll... he'll Ross. Ross, I'm the, I'm the higher. So as you can see there, there's two examples where you can rob a fuel station with uh, no nasty gunfights or anything like that, just some fun, good quality RP. I think on the second robbery on the fuel station, the police must have stopped the, the robbery in progress, because as you could see there, the, the bar all of a sudden disappeared, but I hadn't actually finished the robbery yet. So a little tip of advice for you, maybe normally not many cops showed up as they did just then. So normally you can keep the cop that does show up a bit more busy to stop him from um, stopping the robbery, which then obviously prevents you from getting your money. But usually, like in the first one, you know, maybe only one or two cops will show up, and then you just role play for a little bit and kill a bit of time until the little robbery bar goes up. And then, as soon as you've finished, you can obviously finish up the RP. Then, whatever way, saying that the the pipe's been fixed or the electrics have been replaced or anything like that. I know this is a bit of a longer video today. Obviously, because I've kept it going, I haven't edited out the, the roleplay side of things. So I could give you guys a bit of an example. But nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please like and comment down below what you'd like me to do next. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.